Welcome to our today's session. And during this part of our call, we are going to discuss the technical analysis of few of the stocks which we commonly trade in. And right now, in front of us, we have like this TSX uh, index chart, and we will begin our discussion with this. And then we can take on a uh, few stocks one by one uh, as per your request, and then we will analyze those. So to begin with this TSX things, the TSX, as I discussed with you uh, in our earlier meetings, like TSX is currently in uptrend. Although we can see a minor, you know, corrections coming in during uh, the days, but overall we can see that this is in uh, uptrend. And our ultimate target for TSX is 16,500 level. And currently we are at 15,600 level. And you can see a uh, resistance coming in at the level of, this is the expected resistance level, 15,900 to 15, to be exact, 15,800 to 15,000. 950 this will be a little resistance for the tsx index if it breaks this level then it will be all clear to go up till 16500 level so if the markets perform well although it is you know a little slow in moving upwards but if we expect the markets to be performing well particularly the us markets which have you know a great impact on our market as well so if everything goes well we can see the index moving upward but however you can see a resistance level at the level of 15000 850 to 15,950. So this will be a short term resistance from where the index can rebound and take some correction before it continues its upward journey. So overall, the index is, you know, in, in upward direction. So you need to hold on your stocks and your, you need to plan your trades accordingly. If the index is not able to break this resistance level, you need to get out of the trades and sell your stocks uh, before, you know, it takes a dip to uh, lower levels. So you need to, you know, um, to be careful of the movement of the index in the, in the coming week. So coming week will be important. The last day of the session was, you know, was not good. Uh, it was, you know, uh, the volume, if you talk about the volumes, the volumes were very low as compared to the any of the volume in last you know last two uh, last two months so this was the time when the volume was very low on 25th of may and then this day the last trading session was uh, you know very very little volume so let's see how the market performs in the coming days the last uh, few sessions you can say over a week we had consistent volumes, but the last day was, you know, very, very little volume was observed. And that's why the shape of the candle is, you, you can see there's some sort of dodgy candle was formed, indecisive candle. So next week is very important if you're plan, plan, uh, planning to, uh, you know, planning for some buy-in trades or sell-in trades. So you need to be very careful of the index, how it moves and keep an eye on the US index. The US index seems positive these days, and it is an uptrend. If I just open the US index as well, so it will give a better idea, not this one. Uh, I had this here. NASDAQ. Oh no. NDX, yeah. So NDX, you can see, this was a previous level where I told you it will be going to take a downside dip till here and it actually came till this level. And after that it is, you know, in continuous uptrend. So this candle is, you know, also on the higher side, although the closing was a little lower than the opening, that's why it's red, but still it has a potential to go up and you can see a resistance level at 10,520 for the NASDAQ 100 index. So from 10,520, it will rebound and then fall down. So what, so when it will fall down, you will see the similar impact on TSX index. So whenever you are buying something or you're planning a trade, so look at the TSX index and then go at the NASDAQ and S&P 500 and the other Dow Jones as well and then see how uh, they are behaving and you may consider the impact of those indices on TSX as well and then you go and check your individual stock how that stock is moving these days. So this is really important and most of the guys they actually neglect this and they don't focus on the index movement. So just to summarize the index movement NASDAQ is also in upward uh, direction and it has the potential to go a little more up till five. 
10,520. So there's a room of 200 to uh, 250 points on the upside, and then it, it may start coming down. So in the coming week, at some point of time, you may observe some red days, probably not on the beginning of the week, because still we have a room here and the data, the unemployment data results for US have been positive unexpectedly. So that has got a positive impact on the market. And the same we have seen in on TSX as well. So after this news has been cooled down in a couple of days, one or two or max three and by that time the index would have you know reached its resistance level of 10,520 and it can rebound from that unless we have a very good positive news that can draw uh, that can make this index move uh, upward beyond this resistance level which we see that it might not be happening given the corona fears and all that so be careful about the index movement for the nasdaq and then tsx impact and after that you go and check your individual stock how that stock is moving so i think that's a little overview of the indices and then now we can move on to different stocks so let's start with any other stock you can say yes guys new train ntr 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 tsx okay here is the chart for the ntr I have this one. Okay. NTR. Let's draw some trend lines. So NTR seems to be on uptrend on a longer time frame. And it has it had a resistance level here, a support level. This one. And then we have another one here. Okay, so it seems that the stock is trading currently at its support level of 4350, 4347, and it has taken a turn from its support level. So this was the lowest candle which is formed on the last, uh, on, on 30th June. So from there it has, you know, taken a rebound and seem that it has taken a support from this level. So whenever it hits the support line and forms one candle above the previous candle, so that's actually a confirmation. And now it has actually formed the two levels, which are uh, two candles, which are above the previous candle of 30th June. So it confirms that the stock has actually changed its direction and after taking a support from a level of 43, 47. So it has a tendency to move upward and if we see this trend line, so it may move along with this trend line and then immediate resistance will be in this one. For a very short time, you can see the stock take uh, resistance at this level. That wouldn't be you know, a very strong resistance, but it has a, it, it might uh, face a resistance at this level before it moves up till you know the previous level of 51. So the Immediate resistance you will see at 46. Currently it is at 44. So upside is for, uh, 46, which is like uh, almost two and a half dollars. And the downside is $1. So risk to reward ratio is positive. You can trade in this stock. Volumes are considerably low, but uh, you have, mm, as you see that it has, you know, started uh, moving upward. So you can, we can expect the volumes to go up in the coming in the coming days although the volumes have been uh, in in the downtrend but the difference between the volumes is you know is not much significant given uh, that this stock has taken a support and moving upward rsi has indicated a positive sign a bearish uh, a bullish sign and it is you know moving steep uh, moving steeply upward in upward direction and that, that that's all for this stock i guess and at I think it is a good time to enter in the stock after it has taken a support from this level of 43. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Next stock. Um, the next stock I would like to ask is Kushe Trad. Uh, I think the ticker symbol is ATD. I think so. ATD. ATD. This one. Kushe Trad. Yeah. Okay. So this one, this stock is currently in a consolidation phase. Let's draw a channel here. 
the stock is consolidating in this range so when the stock is, is in consolidation a phase so normally it is risky to enter in that phase because you don't know where it will break out upward or downward so it's better to avoid such stock unless it breaks out the channel and after the channel has been broken out then you can you know enter into any trade so if we see how it gonna behave it will if it gives a upward breakout so you can see this stock will have a tendency to reach up to 47.7 and it has actually a resistance at this level this is based on the fact that if it goes upward so you can see that it can move upward till this level and if it gives a breakout on the lower side then you can see this stock moving downwards towards a level of 37 so i would recommend wait for some time till this stock gives some breakout either in upward direction or in the downward direction so and then you can plan your trade accordingly volumes are considerably low on the downside macd has started moving upward if we draw some line here on the on the rsa side on the macd rsa actually so this is RSI is currently at this level. So let's see if it if it breaks this level and on the downside rsi seems to have taken a strong support from this point from this level so rsi is not falling below the level of 49 which is if we say like 50 at 50 level it is like no trend below 50 is downward trend and upward uh, above 50 is uptrend so currently it is uh, based on rsi it is an uptrend and a few candles have also been formed in the upward direction but still it is in this range this consolidation range so let's wait for this to give a breakout and then you plan your trade either on the upper side or on the lower side currently uh, i would say like just wait and watch for the stock okay thank you okay welcome yeah next talk guys uh Tahir, can you just check fuse.cn f-u-s-e dot c-n fuse.cl c-n yeah, this one yeah yeah okay this talk uh, see this talk uh, uh, i don't see any good volumes trade being traded in this stock so guys my recommendation is don't you know get into such stocks which are like illiquid stocks by illiquid i mean there is no volume in that so on the daily basis see the shape of the candles this is actually the all these sort of you know uh, stocks are actually not good to be trade to be traded in because they do not follow any technicals well, when you uh, when you plan your trade based on the technicals there has to be some trends so there has to be some volumes the shape of the candles in order to analyze that so whatever sort of analysis you will do given the basic or advanced or anything it will not hold good so i would recommend not to get into this stock based on the technicals but if you have some good news on this and you are confident to you know get some profits on this only then you can go but uh, i would recommend to avoid such stocks and also you know this is a super penny stock so i would recommend not to get into this and the reason that might it, that it have moved upward and have made a, a very big uh, green candle might be some news and now the news has cooled down it's coming back again to the same level and you will see the stock again coming back to this normal level of 0 0.06 so i will draw this for you here so it will you know you will see this stock again to this level and also this is in a downward trend rsi is steeply downward and it will take uh you know might take a support at this level of 49 so that's all if you are holding this exit it don't wait for the stock to come further down thanks Dad. okay uh, can you also check another one if you don't mind please that is bpy.un bpy british petroleum uh, Brook no, yeah, Brookfield. Brookfield. okay no, it, it, i think it's the uh, canada one not the 
Okay, let me go to another one. This one? Yeah, that one. Thank you. Okay, great. Okay, guys. So British um, a Brookfield property. If you look at the longer time frame, seems to be in the uptrend. Okay, and let's make a clone of this. Um, you can see this stock, or I better to take it from here. Okay. So it seems that stock is being traded. Let's get it here back. S uh, stock is being traded in this channel, and there was some breakout which you know didn't sustain and again it went back into the same previous channel so it is trading in this channel it took a support from its level of somewhere around 13.225 and then it has started moving up so it has taken a big jump here so maybe these days were the beginning of the month yes the beginning of the month most of these property stocks they they show an upward uh, you know movement and by the end of the month they are in the downward side let's see if it holds good here it was 13th may okay it was first june okay so here also it came back based on the month end dates and the start of the month it went up so now this is again the start of the month it will go up so after that it will come back again here here it's see okay see this these three candles are formed at the beginning of the month so it was in the downward side till the end of the month and as soon as the new month came in it went up and i think it is following the almost uh, the same pattern you can say with like 80 to 90 percent accuracy that uh, by the month and it goes down and by the beginning of the month it it goes up so since it is the beginning of the month so you will see this stock uh, will go up a little higher till this trend line if it follows this trend line so you can see this stock around 16.3 to 17 so 1630 to 17 this stock has a tendency to go up as soon as it reaches here sell it and then wait for the next month and and then buy it from here so i think that's how this stock is being traded and rsi has steeply moved upward which is a good sign volumes are you know at the average level the last day volume was higher because of this jump so only the, uh, the volumes currently being traded are like i would say little bit of the average volume is done and rsi is done i think that's all for this stock anything else you want to discuss on about this stock uh, so just a quick question Pat. so in this particular scenario uh, so is this a good time to enter or do we wait for it to come down and then enter uh see if you want to enter you can but the upside is now limited it might you know go till 1630 max maximum i'm talking about 16 like this one this one 16 first level then this previous level 1630 so uh and the downside is little more it will be a little risky but if you go with a stop loss you can earn a little amount on this but actually you have missed the train you should have you know enter it from this point so next time uh for the okay for this time you can enter with a tight stop loss and monitor it very closely as soon as it starts going down just get out of the straight but you can it has got a little bit more potential you can earn a little thing in this and for the next time wait for the month of the uh, end of the month and you get this stock by the month end and you will make a profit in four or five days then exit uh, after you know first week of the month so that should be a strategy all in almost all the property uh, all the property related uh, real estate related stocks almost all not all you can see how they are moving check their trend based on the month end and the open days and you plan your trade accordingly on that okay good and one okay. last yeah, yeah thanks for this and one last one it is txmd txmd yeah okay and before you start off type just a quick one i think for mm -hmm. this i have received a tip from someone so this might be mm -hmm. helpful for everyone that mm -hmm. for a long time right it mm -hmm. might go to around seven or eight dollars so just in case if anyone else is interested just have a look at it but do their own diligence thank you 
Okay, thank you very much for this uh, in sharing this information. So let's uh, analyze. And the um, important thing is you also must know from there where this tip is coming from. Most of the time, these some guys they follow this and tip doesn't work, but most of the time it works also. So you're right. Everyone has to do their own due diligence before they get into some trade. Okay, so based on the, the technicals, this st uh, stock seems to be in the consolidation phase. A long consolidation phase. So after this consolidation phase is over, then you need to see how this stock moves. Okay, if it gives an upward breakout, then it has a tendency to move up till this level. And here you will see that it will face a resistance to around this level or like this point or maybe like a little lower than this, somewhere here. This one should be a little lower. Yes. Or if it gives a breakout on the downside, then it can go till this point. A little more precise. Yeah. So this should be the levels for this. And this is the support level for this stock. Let's make it green. Okay, so that's what we are talking about uh, for this TXMD. TXMD uh, currently in consolidation phase. Once it gives a breakout, it will go up till 1.7 or if it gives a breakout on the lower side, it is uh, the, the lower side is uh, max till 0 0.88 till 0 0.7. So this, uh, that's how we see this stock uh, behaving in the coming days. And if we talk about this RSI, RSI, It has a tendency to go a little more upward before it starts going down. Okay, so it can, it is always taking a support from this level of 45 and it's hitting this, these uh, sub support, uh, this resistance line, this trend downward sloping trend line. So it can go further up and as you can see this channel, so it will hit this line a 150 and then it might uh, you know fall back again as per its previous trends so this technical analysis is based on the fact that we are not considering any news on that all technical analysis is based on such fact that uh, there is no good news or no positive news it's all neutral in the market and then we base our analysis on, on the technical aspects but if this tip works out then you never know till how you know how far the stock may go so that's that's a separate thing Okay, I think that's fine with the stock. Yeah, sure. Thanks so much for this time. I think I'm done. Welcome. Yes, guys. Uh, next stock. Can you? Uh, yeah. Is it okay if I can ask one more uh, yeah, sure, stock sure. about uh, CRH? Yeah. CRH. Medical Corp. Yeah. Okay. Okay. CRH. has actually shown a good candle here. Was there some news here? Any yeah. idea guys? There was news. Because I can see this level was the support level which it broke and then it went down till here. Took a support from this this point of 2.8 and has moved upward. I think there was some news based on which it has, you know, gone up. Otherwise, based on the technical aspects, the, it was forming a descending triangle. Okay, and the descending triangle always gives a breaks out, break, uh, breakout on the downside. 
So it was a descending triangle pattern. And based on technical, we would have expected this stock to give a breakout on the lower side because of the selling pressure on the upper side. However, it didn't happen and it gives a breakout on the upper side. And there was, you can see from this point, if I can increase this, it was a gap up opening one day and also a gap up opening on the other day and a big green candle on, in the last trading session. So there might be some news trading, uh, news re related to this stock based on which it has formed this candle. Otherwise, based on the technical side, it was expected to go give a breakout on the lower side. Now, since it has moved upward and there with uh, a good volumes in the preceding two days, like see the volumes were lower in the previous sessions around like two weeks and the last two days, the volume has gone actually up. So the uh, uh, most recent session volume is little down, down. Maybe the news, news impact is cooling off and it has uh, resistance also at this level. This is the resistance level too, a weaker though. So you need to be careful entering in this stock or uh, on the next session. If in the next session, if it is trading above the half of this candle, above the half of this candle is like 3.2. Okay, we call it like pivot points. Uh, we can discuss this pivot uh, things separately in some other sessions. But to, just to analyze this stock, if this stock is kind of moving in the next session at 3.2, above 3.2, then we can see that stock is still in the uptrend and you can uh, make your trade in this stock. And if it is moving, it is if it is, you know, in, below 3.2, then we can safely say that the impact of the news has cooled off and the stock is in the downward side. And it, you will see the stock again falling back to this original levels of $3. So if it goes 3.2, it's good for this stock and you can sell it till a level of 3.75 if it continues that journey. Or if it is going below this pivot point of 3.2, sell it before it, uh, you know, before it goes to three and you lose most of the part of your profit. Entering in this stock will be a little risky because it has already gained its momentum and there is not much left in the stock right now. And currently it is at resistance level two. If RSI, RSI is steeply upward, and RSI is showing, uh, you know, bullish sign. The volumes are up. So you need to focus on the volumes on the next day, pivot point on the next day, and see if it is breaking this resistance or not, because last two times it touched this level and fall back again. So this time also it, ha it might fall back given that the volumes uh, were less in the previous sessions. I hope that will help you in making a trade in the next session. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Yes, guys. Next stock, we have like five more minutes left, so we can take like two stocks more before we. Can end you our check uh, yeah. nwh dot un? N W H. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. N W H dot un is also the same story, I believe. Yep, the same pattern. This was a support line and it was in descending triangle shape and it has given a breakout to this triangle at this level. And this also is currently at its resistance level. And the shape of the candle is like dodgy candle. In the dodgy candle, it is like indecisive candle and you don't, it's not dodgy actually. It's not a dodgy candle because the opening and closing are have a different levels so but currently you see the last trading session it hit 11.06 and the previous also it was at 11.06 and was not able to break that level so in the next session you need to see and the size of the candle has you know the body of the candle has gone down and rsi has turned to a neutral sign volumes are low so it has uh, this stock has now had the tendency to fall back again to the previous levels and you can see a support at this level of 10.8 and then at 10.67 i hope that's fine yep thank okay, you that's good. thank you so much okay we will take a last stock for the day before we end up our today's session and we can if say if someone still has some uh, some questions on the stock or something they can send a message in the whatsapp 
group and then we will be able to answer those questions yes guys the last one for today can we have color could we have ctc.a see okay come uh, come on i will take you to stock on the group so, uh, let's take the ctc.a can it entire canadian tire okay canadian tire has taken a support from this level okay and it has gone up this was a channel it was trading in and it has given a breakout to this channel okay this is considered to be a good breakout actually and this stock seems to be you know in uh, has actually changed its trend you need to be watching out this one closely okay and let's draw resistance this will be a resistance so it can go up till 123 okay and the downside is limited so if the next session on monday if you see the stock moving upward so it will be a good confirmation for this stock to coming out of this channel and moving upwards towards a level of 123 uh, why i'm saying that we need to have one more confirmation for the day because this was uh, this candle was closed lower than the previous candle and the volumes were also less so the next candle is formed above this candle of the previous uh, session of 100 and gives a closing above 118 then uh, we may say that okay yes this uh, uh, the stock has changed its trend and now it's out of this uh, triangle and moving upward and secondly the volumes were very low in the previous session the next session watch out for the volume levels and the closing price should be above 118 before you make a fresh buy in this stock rsi has moved down so that's one of the reason that i'm saying that next uh, session you need to be uh, watching out the closing price and the Mm, volumes for this for this stock and rsi is currently in, in this trend okay and it has started moving downwards so let's see how it behaves on the next trading session so currently i will say like not to enter in this stock just wait for the stock either to come down again to this support level of 116 and uh, you can uh, plan your trade based on this support level otherwise if it gives a upward breakout uh, then also you can enter in this trade for the resistance level of 123 for the time being you need to hold and wait and watch the movement of this stock perfect thanks Tahir. thank you okay great okay guys thank you very much for joining us today and our call is going to end soon so before that we just say goodbye to everyone and thank you for joining us today and if the stocks are left we can take it in our whatsapp group just send a message there and we will be able to help you out okay guys thank you very much thank you have a nice thank weekend you guys. Thank, thank you guys thank you so much thanks kamal thanks Tahir. thank you bye-bye